No ads. Oh, you think so? Okay, let's check it out. Here we go. I don't, I don't know. Haven't heard of them before. So here we go. So it's a, it's a band. manual drum oh there is a, a drummer but there's also like a percussionist uh, that uses his hands on the uh, on the toms like it's not just toms but so but I don't see this this member on this picture perhaps I just don't perhaps he's behind somebody I don't know um, I don't know what genre this band is usually is this the like genre that they always bring so far or is this a different kind of let me know I mean there's a lot of people oh there, here is the guy that uses the percussion with his uh, hand hands sorry I like the high voice in the background, the background vocal that is like an octave higher here too. It's subtle, but it's a backing vocal. It's not like complementary. It's not not like the two voices are on the same level. It's really a background vocal. Was it too young? Oh, there's a sax too. I don't really hear a saxophone here. Oh yeah, right now I do. On the right side. Right now here. It's not a full on melody though.
change in the percussion. It's a it's a um, it's a drummer that has this change. It's not a percussionist, but um, I was wondering, like, it's what is the story from this song about? It's about the streets, but that can be a lot of things. So if I needed a little bit more of context about it, then let me know, Kristen. Right now here. It's quite fast clapping, you don't see that a lot on live concerts. Like the run of the guitar there, that follows the melody of the voice. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, it, it's it leans more t more towards rock, but it's not your traditional commercial rock, I would say, right? Okay, I didn't know about this band bef uh, before, so thank you for introducing me to this, Kristen.